Hello everybody, welcome back to Daily Shakespeare. My name is Michael. Today is Wednesday and that means we are taking a look at another one of Shakespeare's villains. And today we are headed back to Coriolanus to meet with Brutus. Brutus is one of the scheming tribunes to the people who have decided to set all of Rome on fire against Coriolanus. And it is built out of jealousy. So often we see all of these complex actions in Shakespeare undertaken by very simple themes. It's one of the reasons why his plays are so universal and so widely done. The themes like jealousy are something that we can still latch on to and see examples of in our own life. Let's take a listen to some of Brutus's jealousy. All tongues speak of him, and the bleared sights are spectacled to see him. Your prattling nurse into rapture lets her babies cry while she chants him. The kitchen malkin pins her richest lachrim about her reaching neck, clamoring to the walls to eye him. Stocks, bulks, windows are smothered up. Leads filled and ridges horsed with variable complexions, all agreeing in earnestness to see him. Seld shown flamens do press among the popular throngs and puff to win a vulgar station. Or veiled dames commit the war of white and damask in their nicely gauded cheeks to the wanton spoil of Phoebus's burning kisses. Such a pother as if were whatsoever God who leads him were slyly crept into human powers gave him graceful posture. This is a man who is not very fond of Coriolanus, and it's not hard to see why when he is put forward to be among the great counselors and leaders of Rome, that they fight so vehemently against his appointment. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. Today is opening day. I am very, very excited. I can't wait to get to the park and show everybody what we've been working so hard on for the last four weeks. Until tomorrow, cheers.